guys, welcome back to Sampaholics Anonymous. Today we are going to be looking at neon polish, as I have told you in um, the haul video I did on these parrot polishes. They are parrot polishes. And that I went on kind of a neon spree. I don't know, I just, I just feel like neons because it's sort of summer. Um, and these polishes were very intriguing to me because not only are they neon, but they all have like a bunch of shimmer running throughout them. You can see um, the blue polish here on my nails, if I can get more light on them, there you go. You can see the shimmer. Um, so not only are they neon and have very bright colors, but they also have a bunch of shimmer in there that made them like all the much more, all the much more, all the more um, interesting to me and that's why I bought them. And today we are going to be, you know, doing a live application and review for you guys um, on my nails like you do. Um, but first let's look at this collection. This collection is called Welcome to the Jungle and not only are they neons, they are also like a black light active. That means if I had a black light in my room, which I don't, <laughs> why would you? Um, these were would all be, um, you know, fluorescent. Um, I'm gonna link you down to like a promo video where you can see that fluorescent effect, which I can't replicate here. Um, like I said, the collection is called Welcome to the Jungle. That means that all of the polishes have like a jungle animal related name. Um, first up we have this yellow, which is called Pit Viper Yellow. And it has, um, I do think it, they all have the same type of shimmer in there. And I would say that it's like a very light silvery shimmer. So that's Pit Viper Yellow. Next up we have this gorgeous orange, which is called Orangutan Orange. Then we have a green, of course, you need a neon green. It's called Gecko Green. And then we have a nice blue. Blue is not like technically a neon color per se, but um, most um, neon collections do come with like an electric blue like this one. This one is called Baboon Blue. And then we have this purple. And um, I told you about this already in the haul video, whatever you do. Do not Google the animal that corresponds with this. I did that because I was curious. I shouldn't have been curious. You know, there's... no. So this is a Bloom Tarantula Purple. Don't Google that. Um, and last and certainly not least, we have this neon pink, which is called Pink Piranha. So I'm going to get into the swatches and meet you back afterwards for a quick little wrap up. All right, we're starting off with the neon yellow, which is called Pit Viper Yellow. Um, as you can see here, the brush is amazing. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It, you know, melts around your nails. And the formula of these polishes was awesome, like over over the whole collection. Very consistent, very awesome. Um, <clears throat> you do see here that the yellow is a bit sheer and a bit streaky on the first coast. So, uh, coat, not coast. So you're going to see me ending up having to do three coats. Um, and at the very end of the th first three polishes, I'm going to show you a swatch picture over white. I don't like doing white bases, but sometimes, you know, you might be better off using a white base and then just do one color coat and boom, 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 be done. But um, anywho, the formula of this polish, of all of the polishes was amazing. And um, I might repeat that like a bunch of times. Right, next up is the orange and this one is called orangutan orange basically formula was just the same as the other um, as the yellow was and as all the other polishes are going to be with the exception that this orange went on a lot more smoothly and um, I did end up using three coats again but as you can see here it's not as streaky it's just a tiny bit sheer on the first and second coat that's why I decided to build it up in three coats 
which didn't really bother me because apart from being the you know a very great formula it they also dry very very quickly and um, also very shiny on their own so I didn't mind doing three coats at all but um, like I mentioned on the yellow polish you are going to see a swatch picture of um, the three polishes that didn't get like 100% neon opaque on their own at the end of these swatches. Okay, next up is the Neon Green, which is called a Gecko Green. This is the last of the polishes um, that I used three coats on. As you can see here, the first coat is very, very sheer, but not as streaky again. Um, the yellow was the most streaky, I think, and um, I did end up using three coats of the green polish on its own. One thing I haven't mentioned so far is how cool um, the, the shimmer looks against the neon base. I just really love that. And I, I think that might be one of the reasons why uh, these are like a bit more sheer. So you can actually see the shimmer standing out on your nails, um, you know, against the neon base color. And after uh, these swatches, I'm going to show you the promised swatch picture over a white base. <laughs> All right, here's the much mentioned um, swatch picture over white. This is like one um, coat each. Next up, we have the pink. This is the first of the polishes that did get opaque uh, in two coats, and the color is called Pink Piranha. So you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna see me do just two coats of this, and just look at how, you know, easy this applied, and um, how you know well the brush works. Again, I, I think I said it before, but um, overall, I really, really love the formula. So not much more I can say apart from these are just amazing. Okay, next up is the purple. It doesn't really come across as purple in this video, but believe me, it is purple. And it's called Bloom Tarantula Purple. And as I have been educated, tarantulas aren't as bad as I thought they might be. And they are actually fluffy and not, um, not spiky like I thought. I thought that those little tarantula hairs on their little hairy legs would be like very... Um, not nice to touch, but I've been, you know, told that they are very fluffy. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, you might want to still Google the Bloom Tarantula and check out this awesome spider. <laughs> Last up in this collection is the neon blue or the electric blue, which is called Baboon Blue. And this one also got a peg in two coats on its own. And again, formula wise, just awesome. Um, brush and formula go together so, so well, so, so nicely. Um, they dry quick, they dry shiny. What more can you ask for in a polish? Um, as per staining, since this is a blue polish, just a tiny bit, not too bad. It didn't stain my nails. Um, but, you know, as with every highly pigmented polish, you do want to be careful when removing not to stain your cuticles because that will happen if you rub a lot. And that's why I use acetone for removing my polishes. So that were the swatches for this Welcome to the Jungle collection by Parrot Polish. These are my first Parrot Polishes that I own. Um, and I must say I'm very, very happy with the whole like customer experience apart from the boxes, you know, the deal. Um, you know, the, the customer service was very good. They arrived to me packaged safely and nicely. And um, like the, the, the makers of these polishes were like really nice and polite um, via email. Um, and the polishes themselves surprised me. They are really good, like formula wise. These are the kinds of polishes that technically apply themselves because the formula is so buttery and smooth and you're just like, boom, 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 you're done. Um, so I would say these are beginner polishes because <laughs> it's so easy to work with this formula. Anywho, I did pick favorites and it's and it's these three, mainly because all of the other, all of the other, the other three polishes were like three coaters, whereas these uh, three were like two coaters and I generally like doing less coats. Um, nevertheless, I might try out how these look like over um, white. I did put them over like a white um, swatch ring that gave them like a pretty good coverage so this is just one coat of the neon yellow on the swatch ring so using a white base might be advisable I'm not a fan of that um, you can wear them on their own if you do like three easy coats thin coats you're good to go you do not need a white base but for me I like these colors most because they pop the most in my opinion um, and I like that I only needed two coats to get like the color that is in the bottle so that's it for today you guys um, let me know which of these neons was your favorite and if you're into neon polishes at all maybe you hate neon I don't know um, I just kind of like it I just sometimes like a little burst of color on my nails um, from time to time so, um, also let me know if you have any other parrot polishes that you really love. I have another collection review for parrot polish coming up very, very soon. Um, stay tuned for that. So, as always, thanks again for watching, you guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye!